if you, your wife, or the government come near our homeland again, I will litter the posts at the gates with the bodies and blood of the 70 children we have there. Callie will be first. I will have your wife killed. Then I will have you brought to the compound, and you will be mine. I will enlighten you, brother, and you will worship me for the rest of your life. Okay, folks. Well, what the heck is Richard going to do now? Unbeknownst to him, his son is dead. Yes, the highest admitted to killing him, but, you know, Richard isn't 100% sure yet. Not to mention, with Norman and Kareem, you know, trying to dispose of the body, I believe that Norman recommended to his cousin, yo, Kareem, look, I know this guy. It's going to cost about 10 grand, though, but he can get rid of the body and clean it up. So, you know, no prints or DNA were here. But again, it's going to be 10 grand. And if I were Kareem, if it came down to paying 10,000 versus, um, yeah chopping up a body i would pay the 10 grand no question yes done i'd be like look it's probably going to take me you know a couple phone calls to the bank because you know you know certain banks if you make large purchases they might put a hole in your account or something but yeah it'd be like yo i can get the money it might i got the money it might take some time but yeah do what you got to do and i'll even maybe even give you a tip too but basically um barry's gone and he tells sam over the phone I need you to go in there and get that mf -er, or I'm going down there myself, which is dumb on so many reasons because he literally said the highest I quote, if you or no, if you or your wife or the government sets foot on our holy sacred land again, we'll open the gates and you'll see the bodies of 70 dead children. Callie will be the first to be killed. Then on top of that, I'm not done. I'll have your wife killed and I'll have you brought to me to be enlightened for the rest of your days. Basically meaning that you're going to be the new boy for the highest. So Richard, you know, I get him being angry, him saying he's going down there himself. If Sam doesn't do anything, what is he going to do? Not to mention Sam is like, I mean, I remember watching uh, one of Ruthless TV's recent videos and she said the same thing I was thinking the whole time. Sam's played out line of, look, I got a guy on the inside. I mean, how long can you utilize that? Not to mention, when was the last time Sam talked to his guy on the inside? I mean, if I'm not mistaken, aren't Brian and Andrew both in captivity right now on Ruthless? So, but then again, timelines and all that jazz. I don't know what's going on there, but... What is Richard going to do? I honestly don't know because the Oval is ahead of where Ruthless is timeline-wise. But Richard, I mean, he's lost his son. His wife, I mean, mentally, he's lost her. And his grandchild is all he has left. So if anything happens to her, I don't know what that poor man's going to do. So if he goes down there trying to look for revenge, he's going to wind up losing a lot more than he bargained for. Then on top of that, if he finds himself in a situation where Nancy, because I did a separate video, I'm like, well, we know Nancy had a taste of that, you know, Rakadushi Kool-Aid. And just like we saw with Lynn, she might try to go back to get some more and, you know, to leave her life behind and be with the highest. But he literally said, if hey, if you come back or she comes back, everybody going to die. So I'm wondering if Nancy, you know, inadvertently screws things up by going back to the compound and as a result gets killed, but I don't know. Maybe they could find some use for her. I mean, if Nancy went down there, I could see Ruth kind of vouching for her. I mean, I'm, I'm still under the assumption that that's the reason Nancy isn't as drugged up and as bad as Barry was when he got left, you know, on the dining room table after the Rakadusha got through with him. But uh, what do you think? I think that Richard, I don't, I don't know what he can do. I don't, I honestly cannot tell you what is going to happen i think jason you know maybe if he finds his way to the compound which i still think he will maybe that's going to lead into something but overall i think richard is pretty much true right now let me know your thoughts in the comment section below the best thing he can do is try to find barry but if he does he's not going to like what he finds so there's that but um yeah let, let me know what you think